The Knicks 2017-2018 schedule has been revealed and Knicks Fan TV gives you their five key takeaways. Defense! 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 Knicks Fan TV, it's your boy C Black here, giving you the five takeaways from the Knicks 2017-2018 season. And let's be honest, if you're a Knicks fan, you want the Knicks to be losing as many games as possible this season. We need to be tanking all the way in order to get back into the lottery and try to improve this team year in and year out. But nevertheless, as a Knicks fan, as a basketball fan, you still want to see some sort of competitive basketball going on at MSG and on the road. You want to see this team compete. So with that, we'll go into the five key takeaways that we got from the schedule reveal that was revealed on Monday night. First and foremost, you have the openers. The first night, the first game against the OKC Thunder, the reigning MVP Russell Westbrook and his new buddy Paul George taking on Chris Stapps and company. Obviously, that's going to be a tough game in a tough OKC environment. Hopefully, we don't get blown out by 30, but let's just hope that we come together and try to put up a competitive fight. The home opener, October 21st versus the Detroit Pistons. Andre Drummond and company coming into town, into the garden. Should be fired up. Chris Stops first game as the, as the leader of the team because I don't think Melo is going to be here. So hopefully we put up a fight and get a win in front of the Garden crowd for our first game at home. Now, a couple of intriguing matchups. You have potentially Carmelo's first game in returning to the Garden. First and foremost, you have the Houston Rockets coming in November 1st. You have Cleveland coming in November 13th. And you have Portland coming in November 27th. These are obviously the three teams that Melo has been linked to all summer long. I still think this trade happens. Where he goes, we're not sure. So stay tuned. One of these three games could potentially be Melo's return to the Garden. And it should be a star-studded affair and a uh, probably a national TV game. Another game, another matchup that intrigued us is Dallas. You have the rookie battle between Frank Nielakina and Dennis Smith. Remember, Dennis Smith had an outstanding summer league, showed the Knicks up in a couple of interviews this summer, talking about they try to make him eat octopus and all this shit. And now we have Frank Nielakina, who we still haven't seen, given that he was injured during the summer league. So these two matchups at Dallas on January 7th, in the Garden, March 13th, will obviously be much hyped and much to see from Knicks fans as we'll look to hope that the Knicks rookie Frank Nielakina will show up and, and not get embarrassed by Dennis Smith. Christmas Day, Philadelphia. The trio, the new big three in Philly come to town and Markel Fultz, Ben Simmons, and Joel Embiid. We'll see what they have for the Knicks. It's glad, I'm, I'm glad to see the Knicks back on Christmas Day, man. I mean, that's where they belong. Whether they're good or not, it's another story. But I'm glad to see the Knicks back on Christmas Day. Of course, the toughest part of the Knicks schedule is always the West Coast swing. And this January, make no mistake, the Knicks are in for a battle. Starting in Memphis on January 17th. At the Lakers, January 21st. At Golden State, the defending champions on January 23rd. And at Denver on January 25th and then in Phoenix January 26th. If the Knicks win one game out of the five, we consider it a success. This is a brutal, brutal matchup and it's a, it's part of a tough January in which the Knicks have played 16 games. So um, it's gonna be a tough one for them. Other than that, you got 13 national TV games, which is down for 64% from last year. Let's face it, the Knicks are going to be bad, as they should be. So, not really expected too many national TV games. But a real Knicks fan is going to be watching on MSG anyway. So that's what we like about the schedule this year. Let's see what they can do. Again, see what happens with the Mellow trade. And see what happens with Porzingis as the new face of the franchise let me know what you think about the schedule leave a comment below as usual subscribe to the youtube channel hit us up on all social media instagram facebook twitter at nicksfan tv how it's your boy peace